Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a column for nonlinear analysis using static structural module. We have already solved a numerical for a beam for nonlinear analysis. Today we will solve for a column. Let's start by double clicking on static structural. I'll go to engineering data. I'll choose the material of the column as concrete. I'll go to project and update project. Next, I'll go to geometry. Right click new design modular geometry. I'll go to units millimeter xy look at i'll go to sketching and i'll choose a rectangle i'll give it dimensions say the horizontal dimension is 25 and the vertical dimension is 20. next i'll go to extrude the sketch is selected say this value is 400 generate. Now I'll just convert this into a hollow column. So I will select this face, new plane, generate, look at, I'll go to sketching and choose rectangle. I'll give it dimensions. See the horizontal dimension is 20 and the vertical dimension is 12, 15. Now I'll give this horizontal distance and this vertical distance. This is 2.5 and this dimension will be 2.5. I'll go for extrude. The sketch is selected. Operation I'll choose as cut material. Generate. The hollow column is made. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry solid. Assignment, I'll change it to concrete. I'll go to meshing, insert method. I'll choose the entire geometry. Say the method is tetrahedrons. Next, I'll go to sizing. I'll choose the entire body for geometry and the element size here is 20. So, I'll make it to 5. Update. Now, this is how the column looks like. I'll go to analysis settings. Over here in the lower face, I'll insert fixed support. And on the upper side, I'll insert force. The direction you can see is Z. I'll change vector to component. And in the Z direction, I'll apply a load of Minus 15 kilonewton. Next, I'll go to solution and insert deformation directional. See, I want to see the deformation along the z-axis. Also, I'll insert the stress equivalent. I'll go to solution and solve. Now, 
You can see here, this is the direction deformation. And this is the equivalent stress generated on the bottom. Now, the analysis that I just did was for linear analysis. Suppose if I have to convert this into non-linear analysis, then I'll go to analysis settings, auto time step, I'll change it to on. I will not define my substance this time, I'll define by the time. So, say the initial time is 5 seconds, the minimum time step is say 1 second and the maximum time step is say 10 seconds. Also here, I'll choose the end time as 1000 seconds. The large deflection over here, I'll change it to on. When you change large deflection to on, it simply means that you are going for non-linear analysis. Because in linear analysis, the deformation is not going to be very large. It is going to be smaller one. Also, I'll go to solution information and solution output. I will change this to force convergence. Now, always remember that when you are solving for a linear analysis, the time required for solution will always be very small. But when you are going for non-linear analysis, you will understand that it is going into non-linear zone because here you can observe that your time is going to increase for the analysis. Because here it is not something which is force is directly proportional to displacement. Your force and displacement have a non-linear relationship. So they will vary according to a second degree equation or a third degree equation. So that's why the time required for taking out the solution is going to increase. I'll go to directional deformation and check the result. I can see here, these are the results obtained. You can click on max and min to find out where the deformation is going to be more. It is obviously going to be at the end when you have applied the load. You can animate and check your result. This graph over here indicates that your deformation that you can see in mm. This is here and along the x-axis is your time. So you can see the deformation along the time. Now these kind of graphs are obtained only when you go for non-linear analysis. Next, we will go for the equivalent stress value. You can see this is the stress generator on the body. Max and min are also shown. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a problem for non-linear analysis using static structural module of ANSYS Workbench. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.